Hey guys, what's up? TTM Mike here coming at you with a flea market video. So I went to the flea market this past Thursday. Also, I went last week, but this video is about what I picked up this past Thursday. Plus a uh, eBay pickup. So I picked up this uh, pink refractor, Jacob de Grom, 2021 Topps Chrome card. I think uh, in total, the purchase and the shipping, it came out to about four bucks and change. So love that card. Love Jake. Then I, have, I picked up some cards. I'm trying to finish off my uh, 1972 tops. So I picked up this Glenn Beckett at the flea market. Also picked up these rookies. This is uh, Dwight Howard. And I picked up this uh, Chris Bosch. Those were like a dollar each. So not bad for a buck. Rookie cards. A Hall of Fame of Chris Bosch and uh, Dwight Howard. Then I also picked up these uh, these cards at the flea market. Some of them were fifty cents. Some of them were were a dollar. I believe these two Ted Hendricks Hall of Famer. These two were. Uh, I used to call him the Stork when he played for uh, Oakland and the Colts. So uh, these this was a dollar. This one was a dollar, and they're in really really good shape. So. Might consider sending these out to be graded someday. Little off center, little wear on them, but these are great looking cards. So two bucks there. Like I said, these seventy-two tops cards were they ranged within between fifty and a dollar. I think this was a dollar. Uh, Felix Mion was fifty cents. Picked up this Dave Keeman. I'll be sending Felix Mion and Dave Keeman TTMs. And here is back to the 72 set that I'm trying to complete. So uh, we got Tim Foley. And we have Dick Allen. That was a dollar. We have uh, Chael, Chael Cruz, Jose Cruz. Great player for the Houston Astros. That was a dollar. Here's another one that was a dollar. Rick Wise. So these are all cards I need to complete my set. This was a dollar. This one cost me a dollar. This is Billy Martin. The cool thing about Billy Martin, a lot of people don't know. Billy Martin was actually flipping off the camera. See him right there? He's flipping the bird right there. <laughs> Billy Martin. So this one cost me a dollar. He was a Tigers manager at the time. Just flipping the bird. Uh, this was 50 cents. This was 50 cents. Uh, how much was this one? 50 cents. Focus, focus, focus. Ken Reynolds, 50 cents. 50 cents, Jerry Johnson. 50 cents, Johnny Jeter. 50 cents, Hal McRae. Uh, 50 cents, Steve Hargan. So... Slowly but surely, I'm getting close to completing my 72 set. What else do we have here? We have uh, Mel Stoudemire, 50 cents. Uh, Daryl Brandon, 50 cents. Action uh, Dick Dietz, 50 cents. So these, as you can see, these cards were in pretty good condition. Maybe some soft corners here and there on some cards, but good condition. Daryl Branson. Uh, Dick Dietz again, 50 cents for Ken Brett, George Brett's brother, rest in peace. Johnny, oh, wait a minute, I got Jeter twice. Uh, I think I picked Jeter up twice, oh well. Uh, 50 cents for Sonny Siebert, 50 cents for Ken Forsh, 50 cents for Art Shamsky, former New York Mets, 69 world champ, 50 cents for Billy... Canigliero, uh, 50 cents for Jim Colburn, and 50 cents for Reggie Cleveland. Uh, what else do I have here? I forgot what I paid for this. I think this was a buck. The reason I picked it up, it's nice condition, and I'm, I'm starting to get a lot of these, so might as well try and put the set together. And this was a dollar, Mike Schmidt. This car looks really, really nice. So I picked it up for a buck. You can't go wrong. 
Nolan Ryan card for a dollar. Can't go wrong. It's got some thin corners, but still, it's still, it's a nice looking card. Got this Los Angeles Dodgers for a buck. And got this Lou Pinella, sweet Lou Pinella for a buck. Oh, what do we have here? Ken Suarez for a buck. Tommy John cost me a buck. Uh, Dave LaRoche cost me a buck. Amos Otis cost me a buck. Cleo James was a dollar. This uh, Game 7, 1971 World Series cost me $2. I believe that's Steve Blass. Uh, Milt May was a dollar. $2 for this John Ellis. $2 for Ollie Brown. Pick this one up. This is a Joe Burrow, I think, for 3 bucks. Uh, picked up this Archie Manning. Really nice condition card, except for that one ding up there. But I might send this through the mail, see if he signs it for me. Archie Manning. Uh, Del Unser. He won a championship with the Phillies. He was a damn good ball player. He used to play center field for the Mets. So I know he signed, so I'll send this out to Mr. Del Unser. And I picked up Hall of Famer. This was from my friend Art. I picked this up. It's an autographed Ken Houston. He's a Hall of Famer. I believe he sold this to me for five bucks. And a Joe Klecko for five bucks. Autograph. Joe Klecko was a great player. Can't believe Joe Klecko's not in the Hall of Fame. Then I picked up these cards. The reason I picked these up, they're really, really, really nice condition. So that was a buck. I believe this was a buck. Detroit Tigers. I don't have a checklist for any of these cards, so I might be picking up doubles or triples, but I like their condition, so I picked them up. I picked this one up for a buck. Joe Nuxhall. Very nice condition. What year is this? This is a uh, what year is this? 1961. And pick this one up. San Francisco Giants. Very nice condition. Off center, but still very nice condition. I picked this one up. Gene Mock, former manager of the Twins, the Phillies, several teams he managed. Uh, getting towards the, the end here of my flea market pickups. Got this uh, Glenn Beckert for a dollar. It was another dollar card. Detroit Tigers. Picked this one up. Very nice looking. Willie Richardson. It's got some dings and round corners, but still, man, this is an old card. So I said, you know what? I'm picking this up. I don't know offhand what year this is. I'd have to do research, but very nice looking card. Uh, I got this uh, another Giants for a buck. And I got Ron Duguay. I'm going to try Mr. Duguay through the mail. So when I saw this card, I said, ah, let me send this through the through the mail. I remember when he was playing Ron Duguay, his hair would fly. I mean, you see his hair would like, uh, uh, it would flow in the wind. He was so fast. Ron Duguay, he was a fan favorite here in New York. Women loved him. Uh, Walter Kachuk, I know he signs through the mail. He was a great ranger as well. And here you have a Hall of Fame card of two Hall of Famers, Rod Carew and Billy Williams. The card's not in great condition. Couple of dings and some soft corners, but still, two Hall of Famers? Get out of here, I'll take that. Braves card for a dollar. And you have this uh, Eddie Matthews Hall of Famer card. He used to be the manager for the Atlanta, Bra Atlanta Braves. He was the manager. There go his coaches, Lou Burdett. So, nice pickup. Then uh, I picked up this Keith, Hen uh, Keith Hernandez. Love Keith Hernandez. Mex. A uh, little ding on that corner down there, but that's the only thing I see wrong with it. The rest of the card looks sweet. And picked up a Hall of Fame card of Dave Wilcox for a buck. And this card looks very nice. So a lot of these cards I might send out to be graded. And I love picking up Checklist. I picked this one up. Checklist, everybody overlooks Checklist, but Checklist, man, most Checklists have been bent, creased, signed. 
thrown around because kids back in the days when we collected, we didn't care about the checklist. Now the checklist is very important. So beautiful checklist. And I uh, picked up this uh, Kellogg's Phil Necro car was in very, very nice condition. So beautiful card. You should get those in the cornflakes boxes. Picked up the Sal Bando. Casey ever does a signing. Now I have a card to send out to him. I've tried him many times through the mail with no luck. So if he ever does a private signing, I'll be sending out to Mr. Sal Bando. Picked up another Hall of Famer here, Willie Lanier. I did not pay 22 bucks. I paid a buck. And this is, I'm going to send this out through the mail. I'm going to send it out to Lenny Wilkins, see if he'll sign it. Then I'll send it out to Calvin Murphy and Ernie D. Ernie DeGregio. DeGregio? DeGregio? Ernie D, they used to call him. DeGregio. DeGregio? Something like that. Anyway, I remember him playing. He was a very good point guard. And uh, there goes Lenny Wilkins, Hall of Famer. So I paid a buck for this. See if I can send that through the mail. Picked up this Burt Bly 11. He signs through the mail also for 25 bucks. The card is off center. I don't know if I'll be sending this to him, but uh, who knows. Then picked up this Doug Buffon. I think he's still alive. I think I have to make sure. I don't know. And I am trying to work on a 63 set, so I saw this laying there for a buck. I took it. So those are my card pickups from this past Thursday. I also picked up this book. Mario Andretti for a dollar, the inside story of auto racing's toughest, most versatile and courageous driver, Mario Andretti. Mario Andretti signs through the mail, so I'm going to mail this out to Mr. Andretti. Hopefully, he'll sign it for me. He lives in Pennsylvania, so not too far away. So I'm going to send this out probably tomorrow. Then I got, I picked up this from my friend Art. I picked up this Ray Guy, Hall of Famer Ray Guy. <laughs> So it's signed there. It's already authenticated by JSA. Here's the JSA. Uh... Hey, come on. The little JSA thing they give you when you get your stuff authenticated. So it was it was a tough choice. He had an Earl Campbell and uh, this Ray Guy. So I don't have Ray Guy's autograph. Plus, this one was already certified, so that was a no-brainer, in my opinion. Get the one that's already certified for five, what I pay, five bucks for this? I believe I paid five bucks for this for my friend Art. Uh, what is this? Okay, this is a picture of Don Easy Money. He's, uh, he played for the Phillies. He also played for the Milwaukee Brewers. That's where I remember him playing. I don't, I don't remember him playing for the Phillies. But I found this, uh, the guy sold this, me this old picture of uh, wherever it was that the Phils used to play back in the days. So this was like a promotional. Uh, pr uh, the Phillies would be on the field, and they would take pictures with the fans and stuff like that. So that's Don Easy Money. So I'm going to send this out to Don Money tomorrow with tomorrow's mail. Then I picked up this uh, this uh, Roberto Clemente 8x10. Obviously, he has passed away. Passed away a long time ago, 1972. But uh, always good to pick up. Roberto Clemente items. Love Roberto Clemente. So, happy to purchase that. And I also purchased this Sandy Koufax uh, picture. There you go, Sandy Koufax. So, if he ever does a private signing, I would definitely send this out to him. I do have Sandy Koufax autograph. I have him on a baseball card and on a baseball. But uh, he, doesn't, he doesn't do any signings. But if by chance he were, I'd be ready. With this item right here. Beautiful. Then I picked up this uh, from Art. My friend Art again. I picked this up. This is a, uh, a page out of a magazine. It's the great Willis Reed. So it's got some significant damage to it. A lot of wrinkling. A lot of page pieces are missing. But uh, I remember him doing a signing once. And uh, I didn't have anything to send him. But. If he ever does another one, I'm ready. There's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar right there. And uh, that's it, guys. That is all for today. So thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If this is your first time here, please subscribe. I hope everyone's having a great weekend. It is Sunday today when I'm making this video. I will make another video soon uh, from last week's, uh, last Thursday's flea market. This was this past Thursday that just passed. So hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you liked it. 
Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And I'll catch you guys next time. Take care, everybody. Have a great weekend. Take care. God bless. Peace.